Hi there, welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you for joining me today. So if you could pick any superhuman power, what would it be? Would it be to be invisible? <laughs> so, well, I'm not gonna be able to show you how you can be invisible, but I'm certainly gonna show you how you can make your objects invisible inside of AutoCAD, okay? So this feature came out inside of AutoCAD 2011. I'm hoping that you have at least AutoCAD 2011 so you can use this awesome feature, right? So we are used inside of AutoCAD to controlling the visibility of objects by turning layers on and off, right? And we've learned to put certain objects on certain layers so you can indeed control that visibility, all right? But now with AutoCAD 2011 and higher, there's this great option that allows you to select objects on the screen to decide which ones are visible and which ones are invisible super secret power, right? Okay, so let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna actually come in here and I'm gonna window some objects, highlight them, and I'm also, also gonna go ahead and select this XREF. So you'll see that I have quite a few objects on this screen that are highlighted, but I have a lot that are not, like these dimensions over here and this door. There's, there are quite a few objects which are not highlighted, right? Okay, I'm gonna do a right click. Now I'm going to go to isolate, and I'm going to say isolate objects. And when I do that, only the objects that were highlighted remain on the screen. They're isolated. Everything else is invisible, all right? That was pretty easy. Nothing to do with layers, right? You can also do the opposite. If you zoom in here, I got quite a bit going on. I can actually select individual objects, like maybe that one and that one, because they're little, still a little bit too cluttered for me. I can do a right click. Same idea, pick isolate there, but instead of isolating objects, I'm going to say hide objects, and then the objects that I have selected will be hidden. Now they're invisible, all right? So you can go either way. You can select the objects that you wanna keep on the screen or the objects that you want to hide on the screen, make them invisible. All right, so key piece of information, lower right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that there's a light bulb, and if the light bulb is red, that means that you have hidden objects in your drawing, okay? That's a key piece of information. And if I come down here and I select on the light bulb, if it's not red, then you do not have hidden objects. So when you see that, don't start turning layers on and off. In reality, you just need to come in and say end object isolation, which you can also get from the right click menu incidentally, and poof, everything comes back on the screen and nothing is invisible anymore, at least as far as object isolation is concerned. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You should know that by default, if you leave the join and you come back in, that the objects are gonna come back anyway. So do not despair. However, of course, there's a system variable, top secret system variable, object isolation mode. Of course, you know that, right? <laughs> It's a nice big long one. If object isolation mode gets set to one, if you leave the drawing with objects that are hidden, when you come back into the drawing, they will still be hidden, okay? So keep that in mind. It should stay at zero. CAD managers, I'm sure you all want it to stay at zero. But in case someone pulled a trick on you, or perhaps if you wanted to pull the trick on one of your coworkers, <laughs> turn all the objects invisible, set object isolation mode to one, and you know, they're probably going to freak out. So you might want to think about that. <laughs> Make sure you fix it though. And you didn't hear it from me, ever from me. So try to isolate your objects. Try that instead of flipping your layers on and off. I think you'll save a lot of time. It's a great way to control the visibility of objects in your drawings. So you can get your jobs done faster. And that is what it's all about. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks.